Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download world population data as a raster file. So we are going to download the population count for individual countries as well as the population density. So the data sets is starting from the year 2000 to 2020. So let us see how to download the data set. So please use the stack world pop hub. Now you can see the top result hub.worldpop.org so click on this so you can see a lot of uh, data sets which are available like population count, population density, population weighted density, births, pregnancy, age, sex structures, development indicators likewise many data sets are available so in this video we are going to, we are going to just focus on population count and population density how to download it for individual country as a raster file so now let us uh, first download the population count data so click on it so how this population map is uh, prepared for the individual countries you can refer this website and you can find how they are pre uh, preparing those data set so we can download the data sets in uh, geotiff and ASCII format available, available at resolution 3 and 30 arc second that is uh, 100 meters and 1 kilometers so let us go down so you can see different uh, data types for example unconstrained and constrained so unconstrained is available at 1 km resolution and the constrained is available at 100 meter resolution that you can clearly see the constrained data is for 2020 alone and in that itself you can find uh, two types one is uh, UN adjusted and one is normal so the difference between these two are the uh, in UN adjusted so the population is matched with the United Nations national population estimate 2019 so that is the difference between these two data set so if you are looking to download uh, historical data from 2000 to 2020 you can use uh, unconstrained data sets so in unconstrained you can see three types of data types uh, for example one is available at a global mosaic for entire globe from 2000 to 2020 one kilometer resolution next is unconstrained individual countries you can download it for individual countries at a one uh, kilometer resolution you can use this option and next is unconstrained individual countries from 2000 to 2020 100 meters resolution so you can choose accordingly so if you are going to go with uh, 100 meter resolution the data size uh, will be uh, very high uh, very high for example if you are looking to download the population for India uh, in uh, individual countries uh, one kilometer resolution will be around uh, 30 to 40 MB but if you are going to use this unconstrained uh, 100 meter resolution that can be up to 1, 1 to 1 1.5 GB so that is the difference in unconstrained itself you can see uh, it is it is also been adjusted based on the UN population you can see that data types which is available at 100 meter resolution and 1 kilometer resolution so you can choose accordingly based on your need you can download it so before getting started first we need to understand what is a constrained and unconstrained method so in constrained method population estimates are restricted to areas where human settlements is known to exist based on the axillary data like uh, building footprints night light or land covers so the data source often used as satellite derived settlement maps uh, Facebook uh, meta high resolution settlement layer global human settlement layer Copernicus build up area layers so in this case only uh, this uh, constraint method only allocates population to pixels that are actually a built up or or inhabited so it will only allocate the uh, population data to the build ups area so based on that model it works on and if you see on the unconstrained method the population is distributed across the entire land of a country or a region even if it includes area that are unlikely to be inhabited so no masking for non settlements area this is more generalized when uh, used when detailed settlements maps are not available 
so these are the key difference be, uh, between the constraint and unconstrained you can see constrained only to known settlements unconstrained across the entire land area this is more accurate and this is comparatively less accurate the data used is settlement data satellite images and for this unconstrained it is purely statistical modeling this is high uh, precision mapping and planning when uh, detailed settlement data is lacking that time you can use this unconstrained method so basically unconstrained uh, is nothing but uh, the population data is been allocated to only cons uh, only few constrained areas like uh, build up areas likewise unconstrained is nothing but the population data is not uh, restricted to any particular places based on build up and all it is just centralizedly put on so this is the basic difference so let us see how to download the data so you can go with a uh, 1 km or 100 meter resolution based on your need if you are going to with a uh, 100 meter resolution uh, you will be getting much more uh, detailed information and if you are going to go to 1 km resolution the detail will be lesser okay that is the difference and the data size will be a huge difference you can choose and accordingly download it so in this case i am going to download it for unconstrained individual countries from 2000 to 2020 1 km resolution so after clicking you will be landing over here here you can easily uh, type in your country name and easily filter your data set for example here i have typed in india and you can see the list of data from the population data you can see from 2000 to 2020 it is available so if i want to click uh, any of this data any of this year you can just uh, click on the data and resources so I, as i have already mentioned you the data is available in two types one is as CII and another one is TIFF. So I'm going to download it in TIFF format. Now you can ju just check, check the progress. The data has been started to download. So meanwhile, if I go back and uh, if I'm choosing unconstrained uh, 100 meter resolution data, just for example, you can see the size of the data set, but it is more accurate. Let me search for India once again so if I click on data and resources you can see the file size so these are grid based data and you can see the file size of this data so if you want or interested in downloading this uh, data you can download it for a uh, much higher uh, accurate results and if you want to download the population density just go back and in the from the home page just select population density you can see unconstrained individual countries from 2000 to 2020 one kilometer resolution and the next data type is unconstrained individual countries based on the un adjusted population you can choose any among this so i'm going to use this one at the top same procedure and now you can just type in your uh, country name and you can download the population density data so once again i'm going to download it for 2020 you can see the availability of the data you can just you can also visualize it spatially from 2000 to 2020 how what was the difference and all so let us see how to download this data 2020 data and resources you can see tiff format so i'm going to click it i'm going to download it now let us visualize it in gas platform so now let us add the data layer our data set move on to layers add layer add raster layer so browse for browse for the file which we have downloaded you can see uh, india so the country name or code will be given from the first and after that you can see triple p triple p is nothing but people per pixel and you can see india pd pd is nothing but population density so let us add both of this data open add it and you can have the 
view of this uh, data set as you can see here now let's focus on the people per pixel so each pi uh, pixel cover that much of people so let us symbolize it properties symbology single band pseudo color and here we are going to choose quantile and I'm going to restrict the classes to two so these are the two classes let us click on apply and after applying it you can see here we can't properly visualize the data set so I'm going to change the transparency by clicking on opacity so I'm going to make it to zero okay apply now you can just have a look at the data set how it is you can see the population per pixel you can easily zoom in to any particular location and use this uh, identity tool identity features if you click on any pixels you can find the number of people living in this one kilometer by one kilometer one square kilometer area how much people are living you can see the estimated value so likewise you can also click and see for the other regions how much people are there likewise and you can also add some base maps to it for example in the x and y z tiles so i'm going to add the google satellite hybrid so if i just drag it and drop it and after that i'm going to move on this population data to the top and now if you are interested to download the data for any city if you want to just visualize it you can see for Hyderabad how the data sets looks like so if you just click on here so select the data if you click on here you can find the population you can have the visualization of the data how the population is spread across in a city so if you go with a uh, 100 meter resolution the data will be much more accurate you can see some differences in that so likewise you can easily visualize the population of any region or city so this is the view of the people per pixel and now let us check in the population density that you can see India PD that is a uh, country code with PD refers to population density so once again properties and here in symbology we are going to use the single pseudo color and I am going to use quantile and restrict the classes to 2 right here once again let us change the opacity to 0 and click on ok now let us apply click ok now you can see the population density same thing if you just click on any uh, the uh, grids you can give you can get the population density estimate of the region per person 310117 likewise so these are the one kilometer gridded data if you want to visualize it much more accurately you can go for 100 meter the thing is the size will be higher compared to this one so you have to select the data based on your need so I hope that you have learned how to download the population data sets if you find the video useful please do like uh, subscribe thanks for watching bye